So I've got a basic scene here that we're going to use to show how to keep an object symmetric. As you probably experienced, when you use X-Mirror for symmetry, sometimes you can break X-Mirror. And there's a lot of ways that you can do that, whether it be extruding or just uh, rotating things so they're out of symmetry. But once you break X-Mirror, it's kind of hard to fix that. So we're going to use a different technique this time. And I'm going to line myself up right here on this cube. And I'm going to end up cutting this cube right down the middle. To do that, I'm going to select it first, hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, Control R, and I'm going to loop, cut, and slide by clicking and then clicking again so it doesn't move off the center line. And now that I have that line down the middle, I can get rid of one half of the cube. So I'll go ahead and choose Face Selection Mode here, and I'm just going to select this face right here because if I hit X and delete the vertices that make that face, it's actually going to delete all of these other faces too because they touch those vertices. So I'm going to delete those vertices. Notice that I got rid of half the cube. Now once I have half the cube gone, I can mirror the object using a modifier. So I'm going to go over to the modifier panel here, the property panel for modifiers, and I'm going to add a mirror modifier. And notice that since I cut it with half of it missing on the x-axis here, then it properly mirrored it automatically because that's the axis it wants to mirror across. Now I can choose which axis I'm mirroring across. So notice I can turn that on and off, but we're not going to see anything in the other axes because the cube is symmetric in the other axes. It looks the same both ways here, and it looks the same both ways here. But in the x-axis, we'll obviously fill in the rest of our cube. So now that we have the mirror modifier turned on, I can actually go into edit mode, and any changes that I make to this are going to get mimicked on the other side. So for instance, I could extrude, and notice that I didn't break my mirror, it's still extruding. I could extrude here, I can grab a point, I can move that point, and everything will get perfectly mirrored across to the other side. The one thing you don't want to do, however, though, is grab points on the middle because then you're going to create gaps or overlaps. So make sure that you're not selecting points in the middle of the mirror.